Have you ever thought about buying a 500 horsepower supercar? Guess what? For less than $20,000, I've got five to choose from. Let's get rolling now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Mark with Exotic Car Play Place, and today I'm... So there was a time when 500 horsepower came at a price. You really had to buy a supercar like a Ferrari F40 or a Porsche 959 was really the only way that you could get into those kind of numbers and those were the only kind of cars that could reach 200 miles per hour. So guess what? For less than 20 grand, I've got a list of five vehicles that can get you to 200 miles per hour and they all have about 500 horsepower. And the first one on our list is a 2002 to 2005 Mercedes S600 L is the long version and these cars had a twin turbo v12 engine that produced a whopping 500 horsepower and a tree stump pulling 590 pound feet of torque now they were rear wheel drive they come with a five speed automatic transmission and even though they weigh a chubby 4600 pounds soaking wet they could still launch a zero to 60 mile per hour time in an extremely brisk 4.8 seconds they could also hit 120 miles per hour, that's right, 200 kilometers an hour in a very, very brisk 15 seconds flat. And what more can be said? You're living in a life of luxury with an S-Class, and as a result, it really does feature almost every single option available in the Mercedes handbook. And guess what? The added bonus is you can find these cars as low as seven or $8,000 US. A really nice example for 15 grand to $20,000 gets you into the top of the line Mercedes with the twin turbo V12. Now guess what? There is a little bit of a problem. They had a few little issues. Oil leaks from a cooler, they had air suspension that were a problem, and they had water leaks into the cabin. Outside of that, an amazing car for the dollars. That's my first choice. This amazing supercar with 500 plus horsepower goes to the BMW E60 M5. The glory. 5 liter V10 engine that produces a massive 507 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque. That's right, this car was coupled to an SMG 7 speed automated manual that was sluggish in the default settings but was lightning quick at the race mode settings. Now, these weren't exactly svelte little animals either, they were a whopping 4,300 pounds made them quite stout. However, these monsters were still able to hit zero to 60 mile per hour in 4.6 seconds and 120 miles per hour in 13.5 seconds. Did you know they could also hit a massive, mind shattering 203 miles per hour if you remove the governor? That's right, one of the fastest cars, not even for a luxury sedan, but for any supercar on the planet. You could have these cars now for as low as seven or eight thousand dollars US. However, some of them do come at a cost. Buyer beware, you're looking for rod bearing problems, you're looking for Vanos and SMG pump issues. Get that stuff sorted out and you truly do have one of the most amazing four-door super saloon cars that can hit over 200 miles per hour. So that third amazing 500 plus horsepower car on my list that you can find for well under 20 grand goes to a 2002 to 2009 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG. That's right, that's the W211 chassis designation. These cars came with an amazing seven speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. This car was quick enough to hit zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds and 120 miles per hour came in a very brisk, earth shattering 13.4 seconds. That's right, they were enough to pull past an E60 M5. Guess what, they came with a 6.2 liter normally aspirated V8, that's right, it replaced the supercharged V8 that came before it. And as you would expect with any modern AMG, you get a beautiful blend of luxurious flowing lines, slightly chiseled, with that heart of a lion V8 engine packing the punch. Now the only downside with these cars is they were built in a bunch of different plants, from Germany to Mexico to China to Malaysia to Egypt and Iran. That's right, it was built in a lot of different places for assembly. But guess what? These cars can be had for as low as $14,000 US as found on autotrader.com. And for all this 507 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque goodness, you can find one of these cars for as little as $14,000. So the fourth car on my list goes to something a little bit more domestic. Let's talk about the 2005 to 2013 
Corvette C6 Z06. That's right, these cars had a 7 liter V8, internally known as the LS7 engine, that produces 505 horsepower and a staggering 470 pound feet of torque. The beauty is they were built in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and the fact of the matter is, all the parts are domestic. Another great point is they come with a six speed manual gearbox. Now these cars had really a blistering supercar level of performance. Zero to 60, 3.5 seconds, zero to 120 miles per hour, 11 seconds flat. How about a proven 199 miles per hour? There was a time when the only cars that could touch that were high end supercars like the Ferrari F40 and the Porsche 959 or the Lamborghini Countach. This car can do that. This proves such an amazing value and for as little as $20,000 US, you too can have a wonderful Z06 parked in your garage. And so the fifth car on my list goes to the beautiful, magnificent, luxurious, posh Bentley Continental GT. That's right, first generation, which is the 2003 to 2011. This was actually the first Continental that was produced after Volkswagen purchased the company. These come with a massive six liter V12 twin turbocharged engine, and they produce an absolutely crazy 552 brake horsepower, as well as a 479 pound feet of torque. Now this was coupled to a six speed ZF automatic transmission, and even with its royal chubbiness of 5,200 pounds, it was still able to crack five seconds. As a matter of fact, 4.8 seconds, zero to 60, and a top speed of yet again, 198 miles per hour. This is truly supercar territory. These cars had absolutely magnificent finishing from magnolia hide to carpet that matches, and the fit and finish and the interior of these cars are really second to none. They really do own that market. And all this wonderful exquisite finishing cost well over 100 grand brand new. But guess what? You can now find one of these beautiful work of arts now for as little as $20,000 US. That's right. 20 grand gets you one of the most beautiful British made supercars on the planet today. Very distinctive and very classic. The only thing is, you have to remember, stick with that maintenance, be happy with the service records, or it will bite you hard. And on that note, if you wanna learn more about some great luxury cars that you can buy that are super reliable, click this link. How about some that are really, really unreliable? Click that link and maybe learn something from that. Hope to see you guys soon. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.